Here, take these in my place. They should prove quite useful. Received whisper earrings. I can whisper now. They're called whisper earrings. They've been passed down in my family for generations. When you're wearing them, you'll be able to hear even the faintest sounds. But if someone yells, your eardrums get blown out immediately. <laughs> <laughs> My son must be in prison somewhere around here. Listen through those and you'll be able to hear him. Oh, the eavesdropping item in the game. Outsider. Everyone's so rude in this game. It's a crap sack world. It's a hard knock life. For us? I'm gonna have to go walking around without through forms and such. Unless I can find an end that will accept me. And they won't. How, how unfortunate. I can't fire fireballs. Or avoid fights. Oh, God. Oh, wait, I remember you. You guys are hecka durable. What kind of machine is a hecka durable? What kind of it doesn't break you. I would imagine so. I mean, they're probably called armor shells. To be part of the mwahaha. So why exactly does the health bar never go past, like, halfway? Can you overheal or something? I cannot. That's just my current max health. When it hit, when that health bar is uh, fully green, it means I'll be at max level, and that's what won't be all my health that I'll ever get. Oh. Yeah, that is a very weird way of doing it. You're right. <laughs> They chose to do this. The only thing I can imagine is maybe they didn't have enough time to create some sort of meter that scales, and so they just made a fixed meter that you can add to. But even so, it's a very strange decision. It is! You made me fight you. I didn't want to do it. I'm not lost, you're lost. Switch to boring item. All this because I don't want to go teleport back to the first town and have to walk. Forever. Will it take just as long for you to repeatedly heal? Mm. <laughs> Something test. Oh yeah, I have no magic. I can't test my magic rod. Tell we're back to the first village. So why can't you just teleport to the colony of lava? I can, which is why I'm teleporting to the first village. This is the wrong shot. Oh, that's right. You said you keep the warp wings just in case you run out of mana. 
Hi there, guy with really bouncy. That's music. iron. Hey, want to sell it? Yeah, sure. Thanks. You got a weapon upgrade? I also like this setup of. Um, we have some fine swords here. Always remember, though, to keep what you need and what you can afford in balance. People tend to think shields are less important than armor, but you'd be surprised how useful they are. Anyway, have a look around the Hopkins. We have some fine armors available. It doesn't come cheap, though. Plate mail is what you got. Yep. Could you imagine wearing friggin' plate mail and probably, as you've said before, what's the undercoat called? Gambeson. Yeah, and a gambeson while running around through a friggin' volcano. Oh god, no! <laughs> You'd like die after like 11 steps from just severe hyperthermia. It's like, hello, this is what heat stroke feels like. <laughs> you just like walk into the volcano and the guy in the armor is just like, nope, I'll meet you guys afterwards, you're good. <laughs> Buying a new wing. Yeah, I need it. Sell me the thing. Thank you. Come again. Where's the guy who's normally wandering around just outside the weapon shop? Yes, he relocated because he actually has iron now. Did he have an iron deficiency before? He did. You gave him iron supplements? <laughs> Just not the medical kind? <laughs> I'm not wrong. Yeah, you're not. So that's what makes it feel weird. <laughs> No, the demons are definitely bad guys in this. It doesn't matter that you can talk to them. Some of the demons aren't as bad as other demons. They're complicit in kidnapping children. Okay, yeah, no, that one's bad. <laughs> I'm not even going to try and make some <laughs> sort of argument about that because there isn't a good argument for that. <laughs> Although the other thing is, did all the demons comply with that, or did the demons here comply with that? They're still working for the hierarchy. Oh, that... it's all one organization? Yeah. I see. El Hero? I know that guy. I don't. He does open mic nights in, like, Baltimore or Annapolis, I forget where. Mm. He can play the guitar and sing. I wish I could sing the guitar. I can pretend to sing, but I can't really sing. But can you sing the guitar? I don't want to sing the guitar, it sounds uncomfortable. <laughs> I mean, I guess you can do that meatily, meatily new thing, like the trying to make the sounds of a guitar vocally. That could be considered singing the guitar, I suppose. Huh. Fair.
quickest way to do this is actually being a demon is pretty rough. Chain command, blah blah blah. Never you mind about some kidnapped kid. Just find that adult guy and take him out. Oh wow, no, they're actually really strong. Point in gas direction. Wait, where's the guy who said never you mind about some kidnapped kid? Let's listen around near him. Feel it! Got it. <coughs> hey look, there's one. His name's Rudel. We were driven out of our homes by warmongering demons and forced to hide here. Ours is a peace-loving, calm, peace, love, sleep, food, Plan. and information. Plan. Oh. Oops, I missed a word, or messed up a word. Probably both. Several days ago, I saw a human boy being led uh, to the poison-filled passage by demons. I hope he's okay. Me too! You want to know how to get through the poison gas room? What a curious little root you are. You should take a leaf from the tree there. If you cover your mouth with it, it'll filter the poison gas. 
It's dangerous outside. Many vicious demons wander about. But a, gen but a gentleman must always retain his composure. Indeed, it is one of the seven habits of highly successful gentlemen. One must never, ever lose his head. Observe my calmness and stylish sense of detachment and relaxation, even though deep down I'm a ball of fear. I like you. <laughs> do you do you share some sympathies with this creature? <laughs> As long as you breathe through your mouth, you'll have no trouble in poison gas rooms with the Rota leaf on. Oh, you're a tiny one! Hey, can I tell you, let you in on a secret? My brother Bruce is so absent-minded. He's been looking all over the place for a Rota seed, and he says he lost. They, they say he lost, but actually he ate it. Huh. Wired road leader. You wish to rest. Heck yeah. Found the spot to rest here. Ooh, far enough away from them that this won't cause any issue. Oh, I can still try to talk to them as a human. It just doesn't work. It says... I mean, it might be a runic looking something. Really? Alright, so... the one who was talking about being gentlemanly. Yeah, but we need to figure out the name. Oh, okay. Bruce. Oh. Yeah. It is. It's just runic writing of the same words. Huh. I didn't see the O down there. What's he talking about then? <laughs> uh, it's probably the same phrase. Let's see. Squiggly sea looking thing is I mean if it's in actual like Norse it may not work. But P L E Please so please says please lend money <laughs> what <laughs> that one says B. A. Uh, 
bad. T O U I think it would say bad touch, but that's not an H, that's a W. At the end. But otherwise it would be saying bad touch, bad touch. <laughs> Upside down? It could be the Z upside down. I just don't know. Otherwise, it'd be E A E A E. No, that's also the other way. Yeah, I guess it's just the Z upside down. Weirdo. That one says W. I was supposed to say, how do you do, but it's all jumbled. Mm -hmm. First word anyway is walk instead of how. He's screaming? I'm freaking out. Well, that's because you're scared. So Ronda Leaf fits squarely over your mouth, but your nose is still exposed, so don't, uh, so make sure not to sniff around.
Okay, I should have been reading this out loud because that was a joke. <laughs> Now I gotta go find something called a Black Pearl. Huh? You have the black pearl? <coughs> Here, try to pass it to me through the gap in the wall. Just a little more. To the right. Almost got it. Okay, hold it. Right there. Awesome. I can feel it. Alright, I got it. Thanks, mister. Keith went the other direction. Well, thanks, Mr. Keith. Anyway, thanks for your help, mister. With Keith in here, I almost didn't mind getting kidnapped. Even though it's been almost two full days. I finally started to get really hungry, though. So I'm glad you came when you did. Keith is a demon who's locked in here with me. Even though he's not human, he can speak our language. And I really wasn't scared to be around him. It's fun to talk to. What well, I can tell, he'd been in here a lot longer than me. He was also really nice. A kind, well-behaved, intelligent demon. Never seen anything like it before. But when I handled the Black Pearl suddenly turned vicious, like a normal demon, then he broke the wall, 